everyone, I'm Jessica and welcome back to another episode of Different Yet Same. Today I'm going to the super cool art place I found online. Traveling in China is super simple. You just have to type the name of the city you want to go to and that's it. You'll find pictures and all the information about scenic spots. I really like this combination of internet and tourism here in China. You know, in the West, we have similar apps like Facebook and Instagram where people share amazing places all the time. I think Instagram is very similar to the Chinese app Xiao Hongshu. But since I'm here, I use Xiao Hongshu a lot to find amazing places to hang out. There are more than 1 billion Chinese netizens using social media like TikTok and Xiao Hongshu to find places. That's why the tourism and internet combination is so popular here. Alright, I'm at the entrance of this art place now. My main purpose here is to take some pictures and share them on my social media. Do you want to know how much the tickets were? Well, they're free. Okay, let's go have a look. The internet and tourism combination is such a game changer in China, especially with so many people here. Having to go and buy tickets on site, having to go and make reservations on site, no, there's no need to do that. We just have to use our phones or our computer and we're ready to go. This is so convenient for Chinese people and I can enjoy it as a foreigner too. Netizens use their own social media to promote places they've been to. Even the government uses the internet to get people interested in tourism. Movies and TV shows also make places famous, such as the Yangtang Mountain in Wenzhou from Langyapang, or foreign spots such as the Sydney Opera House, the Niagara Falls, or the Eiffel Tower. Alright, after checking this very trendy spot, I found another one online which is very popular too. Okay, let's go! Hey, now I have arrived at this beautiful and Asian street. Let's take a look! Wow, this is such an amazing place, especially at night with the lights and, and everything. Uh, you can see, you can come here and see the water. It's really clear, but yet it feels very, very natural. Wow, it, it is really beautiful. I think it's the beauty of the cities in the south of China. Even though these buildings look very old, they're also filled with a lot of culture. I really think this internet and tourism combination can really help businesses understand more about tourist consumption habits and needs. For example, these old buildings have modern shops. That way, they can offer a better consumption experience to the tourist. Wow! Sitting next to this old architecture and experiencing the life from people from the past is really way too comfortable. I feel like recording a video with my phone and posting it on my TikTok account. I think people are finally starting to understand that cultural tourism is really important to fulfill our spiritual needs. In Western countries, regulations are very flexible. That way, tourism companies can invest their money in any advertisement that they think will work, such as creating new websites, filming videos, or even printing pamphlets. Besides that, in the West, influencers and new media reporters can share their travel experiences on social media like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They can do it in a very straightforward and honest way. China has a very long history, and every region has its own characteristics. Food, traditions, exhibitions, and art are all part of the tourism industry. Besides marketing traditional methods, we can also look at social media conversations and trends. That way, we can have more diversity in the tourism industry. Both in China and foreign countries, tourism marketing keeps advancing and influencing each other. Nowadays, tourists travel to China because they're very curious about Chinese traditional culture that is trending on TikTok. Let's take the Hanfu as an example. As for myself, I'm really looking forward to keep experiencing this beautiful country. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time! Learn Chinese with me. Hu Lian Wang Internet Wang Min Netizen Xiao Fei Consumption Duan Shi Pin Short video, 女友夜
tourism.